If you want to buy notes, then check the link in the comment section and install the app now. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. In this video, we will see what is electric power. So, what is power? So, power is the rate of doing work. Now, let's understand this from this circuit diagram. Here we can see this is a battery of 20 volt voltage source. This is a resistance of 10 ohm and the current through this is 2 ampere. Now power is the rate of doing work. So here to push this electron, remember that the current flow from conventional current flow from positive terminal of battery to negative terminal of battery and electrons flow from negative terminal of battery to positive terminal of battery. Now to push these electrons, pushing charges or electrons takes work. Now more charges pushing means more power required. The power is represented by capital P. It is the ratio of work upon time. The unit of work is joule and the unit of time is second. Work is represented by capital W, time is represented by small t. Now this joule per second, the unit of power is joule per second or watt which is represented by capital W. Now this watt came from a person's name or inventor's name James Watt. So power is the ratio of work upon time. Its unit is joule per second or watt. Now let's take a look at this circuit. Here we can see if we want to find the power in this circuit then P is equal to V into I where P is the power, V is the voltage and I is the current. Here the value of voltage is 20 volt and the value of current is 2 ampere. So if we multiply 20 into 2 then we get 40 watt which is the power provided by battery. That means this battery is providing 40 watt. Now there is one more formula to calculate power and it is P is equal to I square into R. Now where this I square came from? According to Ohm's law we know that V is equal to I into R. Now here in place of this V if we substitute I R then we get this formula. So again the value of current is 2 ampere. So 2 square into resistance value is 10 ohm. If we multiply this, we get 40 watt. So this is the power which is consumed by resistor. So here this formula is used to find the power consumed and this formula is used to find power delivered. Now in case of in DC, power is given by voltage into current. This is the simple formula to calculate power. Voltage is represented by V, current is represented by I and power is represented by P. Or there is one more formula to calculate power and it is power is equal to current square into resistance. So power is equal to I square into R. Now here we know that voltage V is equal to W upon Q where W is the work in joules and Q is the charge in coulomb. Remember that Q represents charge in coulomb and W represents work in joule. Now if we take this Q on this side so it will be V into Q. V into Q is equal to W and we know that current I is equal to charge upon time where this charge Q is in coulomb and this time T 
is in second. So from this, the value of Q will be I into T. That is current into time. So this is the charge Q is equal to I T. Now, if we put this Q value here, then we get W is equal to V into I T. Here we can see W is equal to V into I T. Now here, this V represent voltage in volts, W represent work in joules, Q represent charge in coulomb, I represent current in amperes and T represents time in second. So this W is the work or also we know that this V into I is power. So power into time is equal to work. So power P is equal to work upon time. Now this work is V into I into T. V into I into T is work divided by time. So this time and this time will get cancelled. So power is equal to voltage into current. So this is how we get power from these formulas. Voltage is equal to work upon charge and current is equal to charge upon time. By substituting these values, so we get power is equal to voltage into current. From Ohm's law, V is equal to I into R, we know that this is the Ohm's law. Now, power is equal to I into R. If we substitute I into R in place of this V, then we get this formula. This I into I is I square into R. So, power is equal to I square R. Also, according to Ohm's law, I is equal to V by R. If we take this R on this side, so it will be in denominator. So I is equal to V upon R. Now, power is equal to V into V by R. So in place of, here we can see, power is equal to voltage into current. Now in place of this current, if we substitute V by R, then we get this formula. Power is equal to V into V divided by R. Now this V into V is V square. So power is equal to V square upon R. Again, let's revise. There are three formula for power. Power is equal to, here we can write, number one formula is power is equal to V into I. Second formula is power is equal to I square into R and third formula is power is equal to V square upon R. So these are the three formula to calculate power, electric power. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.